Okay, welcome to ETN News. We had a 6.0 in China. This was a little bigger. I think it was 6.2 when they started, but 6.0, and that is 6.2 miles deep. Now we're starting to see the sixes pop up. We're going to see more, and we should see like the next two or three days of sixes popping up, and maybe even sevens because of all the pressure that we've seen go around the plates. Here's where the earthquake is located. And, you know, we was watching the earthquakes and we seen a 7 go down into the plate and it's been like 8 or 9 days ago. Hasn't showed up yet. Then, after that, it was calm, I think, the next day. And, you know, on the earthquake activity of seeing it going, you know, coming. It's hard to explain, but anyway, now we have more sixes and maybe sevens going to pop up. And over here, we have a 3.1. And that one is 10.3 miles deep. That is in Waltonville, Illinois. West northwest of Waltonville. And then we got this one up here in Canada, 4.6. Hanseyville, Canada, 9.0 miles deep. We got 3.9 Mentone, Texas. We had two after we see the Activity coming, we always see activity on the Cascadia. So the day before, or sometimes that day, we'll see the Cascadia start throwing off small quakes right before the big activity hits the large activity. Alright, we're just going to start looking for the sixes to pop up now. It's been like, a, I think it was the day before yesterday. Maybe yesterday, we was talking about... Uh, well, we can see all the sixes going to pop up. And you got this here. This is the Pacific Plate. You got the North American Plate being pushed by the Pacific Ridge over this way toward the Pacific Plate. And then we got all this. Australia is moving up north a little bit. And it's pushing on the Pacific Plate. All this is pushing on this one plate. Because this one goes this way. This is opening up, and this goes this way. Well, if this goes this way, it comes over and pushes right back over against the Pacific Plate. So either the continents is going to start sliding over parts of the Pacific Plate, and it's going to go down into the crust toward the mantle, and it's going to cause some big disasters. That causes more magma. It causes more large earthquakes. So we got to be prepared for that. And while we're reporting this is earthquakes, we got these anomalies. And these anomalies are moving across North America, and you can see it right here and there. You can see it this way and this way. We got four. And these are constantly coming across the plate, moving over. Yesterday, this was empty. Let's go back and look at yesterday. Okay, let's go to the 17th. This is empty down here. There's nothing. And we go back one more. Now look at that one. That's day before yesterday. And 17th. And then here is the 18th. You see how that moved? Fires don't move. I mean, the whole North America would be burnt to crisp. And I'm going to make an update and explain. I've talked about how, what's causing this. About four years now, trying to get it in, in people's heads. I mean, of what's causing this. But people want to overlook it. They don't want to believe it. They want to unsubscribe. They want to get pissed off. But, hey, facts is facts. That's the way it is. Now, the sun and the moon controls this earth. 
Now the sun, where they're shooting stuff through the the air and you know into space all the time. They're messing with the weather and all of that. Okay, now what's going on is the solar flares is coming through the open hose, through the ozone layer that they burnt hose through. Yeah, just say uh, this. Say this United States is the Earth. You know, just say. And you got hose. I mean, you got all this through here, and you're shooting hose through the ozone layer. Now, they say one little hoe don't hurt. Well, just imagine this one little hoe, this one little hoe, this one little hoe. Each country is shooting stuff through the ozone layer every day, just about it, of some kind of experiment of all kinds, of stuff that shouldn't even be up there. And now they're reflecting the sun back to itself that causes, causes solar flares. And solar flares, what do solar flares and solar storms cause? It draws the moisture out of the earth. What happens then? The core comes toward the surface. What happens then? The core will slow down on its turning. Then what happens? Might as well say the end of the world at the end because it's not going to last long the way everything's going here. And that's facts. I don't care how they look at it. You see it. I see it. It's facts. All right, I'll see you on the next update. Everybody stay safe, and we'll be watching what time they destroy in our world as we live in.